study the application of Biot Severs law. The application is to find the magnetic field on the axis of a circular current loop. So consider a circular current loop of radius capital R. It is placed in the YZ plane. That means like this. This is a circular current loop. It is placed in the YZ plane. If the loop is placed like this means it is placed in XY plane. Here the loop is placed in YZ plane means the loop is placed like this perpendicular to the paper. Okay. And R represents the radius of the circular current loop. We have to find out magnetic field at a point P on the axis of the circular current loop. That means this is the axis. Here this represents the axis. Okay, passing through the center and we have to find out magnetic field at a point on the axis. That means here. And the distance, the distance between the point and the center is x. Let I be the current flowing through the circular current loop. Here the loop is placed in y is a plane. That means here this is the side facing you and this is the bottom side. So solid line, the darkened line represents the upper face and this represents the lower face. So here current is flowing in downward direction. Okay, current is in the downward direction. So that is the assumption. So here consider a circular current loop of radius capital R placed in the YZ plane. Let I be the current through the loop. We wish to find the magnetic field at a point P on the axis. Let X be the distance of point P from the center. Okay, now the loop can be divided in number of small current elements. The loop, total loop can be divided in number of current elements of length dl. And the current element dl is at a distance smaller from the point p where we have to find out the magnetic field. So consider a current element of dl, length dl of the loop distance smaller from the point p. So this is the assumption. Now what is the magnetic field at the point p due to the small current element? According to Biot's words, it is dB equal to mu0 by 4 pi ideal sin theta divided by R square. Okay, but here the current loop and the point P, here the current loop of length dl and distance R, this is the position vector R, they are perpendicular because dl is along the tangent. Okay, so dl, the length, the current, the length, the current element of length dl, the direction is along the tangent. In the direction of current along the tangent. So dl and r are always perpendicular to each other. So what is the angle theta here? Theta is 90 degree. So magnetic field at the point due to the small current element is given by mu0 by 4 pi i dl divided by the distance between the current element and the point which is small r. Okay. So db equal to mu0 by 4 pi i dl divided by r square. Now what is the magnetic field at the point P due to the small current element dl by using right hand thumb rule we can find out the magnetic field. According to right hand thumb rule, thumb represents the direction of current and uh, the forefinger represents rep uh, direction of magnetic field, isn't it? So here this is the circular current loop, it is placed in the yz plane, here current is in the downward direction. According to the figure, here this current is in the downward direction, no? so this is the side facing you and the current is in the downward direction. So what is the direction of magnetic field at the point using right hand thumb rule? The direction of magnetic field is outward. Okay. So here this represents the direction of magnetic field at the point P due to the small current element. Here let this current element is 1. First current element. Current element. Okay. So magnetic field at the point P due to this current element is this will be the direction. So this is the magnetic field at the point P due to the first current element. Okay, so this magnetic field can be resolved into two components. Here it can be resolved into two components that means one is in this direction, another one in the perpendicular direction. We can resolve any vector into two components. So dB can be resolved into two components, one in the direction upward and one along the horizontal direction. Now let this is this is 90 degree, no? 90 degree. Here let this angle is theta. Okay, the angle between R, capital R, radius and small r, let it be theta. If this is 90, this is theta, what is this angle? Right angle triangle, no? So, this will be 90 minus theta. Okay, now here this one and uh, the perpendicular vector, both are perpendicular, this vector, this component are perpendicular. So, since this is 90 minus theta, what will be this one? This will be theta. 
now we know that r and magnetic field are perpendicular so we know according uh, from by observers we know that the direction of magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane containing dl and r so db is always perpendicular to r therefore the angle between r and db the total angle is 90 degree since it is 90 here this becomes theta means what is this angle this is 90 minus theta and here these are the two perpendicular components no so since this is 90 minus theta what is this component the component is theta this component is theta that is the term we want here so here this is theta means what is the component closer to theta called we know it is db cos theta so this is db cos theta cos component what is this component db sin theta the component which is closer to theta is cos component and another one is sin component here this is closer to theta therefore this represents db cos theta and this represents db sin theta this is the resolution of vector any vector can be resolved into two components and the component which is closer to theta is cos component and the other component is sin component that you know okay children so first one then first we consider the small current element dl it is resolved it is uh, we have calculated the magnetic field at the point p due to the small current element and that is db and we can find out the direction of magnetic field using right hand thumb rule so this represents the direction of magnetic field we can resolve it into two components so this component is cos component and this one is sin component so this is due to the first current element this is also due to the first current element okay now similarly we can consider another diametrically opposite current element here this is diametrically opposite current element of same length dl this is dl which is diametrically opposite to the first one again magnetic field at the point p due to this current element is again formula is same db equal to mu0 by 4 pi ideal sin theta divided by r square there also dl and r are perpendicular so the same formula we will obtain we db equal mu0 by 4 pi ideal divided by r square okay again so due to this uh, small current element one direction of magnetic field we have taken like this okay this is a magnetic field at the point p due to this current element direction is in the outward direction like this if due to this current element the magnetic field direction is represented like this means due to this current element the direction of magnetic field is represented in the other direction db2 this is the second current element D, dl2 and the magnetic field due to the second current element is represented by db2 again it can be resolved into two components one is along this direction another one in the outward direction again this angle will be theta okay so again what will be this component closer to theta this will be db cos theta due to which component 2 what is this one db sin theta due to which component 2 the magnetic field at the point p due to the two elements the magnitude wise both are equal here sin theta is upward here sin theta is downward so what will be the resultant resultant due to the vertical component will be nullified because db1 sin theta and uh, db sin theta due to the second element uh, both are equivalent opposite therefore the magnetic field due to the vertical component get cancelled so net magnetic field is only due to which component the horizontal component that is cos component okay so net magnetic field at the point p due to the current loop we can find out by using integration integrating all the cos components here we have taken only two diametrically opposite current elements this one and this one similarly we can consider number of current elements diametrically opposite number of current elements will be there and all the if you consider all the elements that sign components get cancelled and uh, magnetic field is, field is only due to which component cos components hence the total magnetic field at the point p is given by b equal to integral db cos theta or you can write integral db integral db we can substitute what is integral db mu0 by 4 pi i dl divided by r square into cos theta now we can find out the value of cos theta here this is theta no if you consider this right angled triangle what is cos theta adjacent side divided by hypotenuse so theta is equal to capital r divided by small r isn't it 
so we know cos theta equals we know cos theta equal to capital R divided by small r substituting substituting will get b equal to integral mu 0 pi 4 pi i dl divided by r square into cos theta cos theta is capital R by R here only varying value is dl okay dl is only varying value all other terms can be taken outside mu 0 by 4 pi i capital R divided by R cube into integral dl what is integral dl integral dl means dl plus dl plus dl plus dl we can take the total length of the circular current loop which is given by circumference right 2 pi r 2 pi capital r isn't it so we can write integral dl can be written as 2 pi capital r so total magnetic field can be written as b equal to mu 0 by 4 pi i r divided by small r cube into integral dl is 2 pi radius capital R equal to mu 0 by pi pi can cancel in mu 0 by 2 i r square divided by r cube mu 0 by 2 i capital R square divided by small r cube but r is the distance between what is r r is the distance between the current element and the point so we can find out r in terms of capital r and small r because r is the distance between small r and capital r different current elements so we can find out r in terms of capital r and small x r and x again using pythagoras theorem we can write small r equals root of capital r square plus x square okay so using pythagoras theorem we have small r square equal to capital R square plus x square isn't it small r square equal to capital R square plus x square or small r can be written as root of r square plus x square therefore the total magnetic field B can be written as mu 0 by 2 i r square divided by r cube can be written as r square plus x square the whole raised to 3 by 2 because root means 1 by 2 no root means raised to 1 by 2 1 by 2 into 3 means 3 by 2 so total magnetic field on the axis of a circular current loop is b equal to mu 0 by 2 i r square divided by r square plus x square the whole raised to 3 by 2 b equal mu 0 i r square divided by 2 into r square plus x square the whole raised to 3 by 2 where r represents the radius x represents the distance between the center and the corresponding point now we can see how this magnetic field is expressed in vector form we know according to the figure what is the direction of magnetic field db cos theta 1 or db cos theta 2 all the com cos components are along which direction x direction isn't it so net magnetic field in vector form can be represented as vector b equals mu 0 i r square divided by 2 into r square plus x square the whole raised to 3 by 2 since it is along the x direction we can represent it by i cap so this is the direction of net magnetic field and the representation of magnetic field in vector form. Now at the center of the circular current loop that means the point P is shifted to the center. So what is the value of x at the center x equals 0. So at the center of the circular current loop x equal to 0. So how will you represent the magnetic field B equals in the formula we can write x is equal to 0 isn't it so mu 0 i r square divided by 2 r cube x becomes 0 r square the whole raised to 3 by 2 is r cube therefore it can be written as mu 0 i divided by 2 r so magnetic field at the center of the circular current loop is mu 0 i divided by 2 r the direction is also along which direction same x direction if the current is in the downward here in the, according to the same figure if current is in the downward direction okay current is in the downward direction the magnetic field is towards x direction so here b equal to mu 0 i divided by 2 r 
another way to find the direction of magnetic field due to circular current loop. We know right hand thumb rule. The first way is the straight conductor. How, what is the direction of current? If this is upward is the direction of current, the direction of magnetic field is given by right hand thumb rule. That is thumb represents the direction of current, four finger represents the direction of magnetic field. So here if current is in the upward direction, this will be the direction of magnetic field. If it is a circular loop, right hand thumb rule can be stated in another way. Let this is a circular current loop, let current is in this direction. This is anti-clockwise is the direction of current. Okay. okay. Now the four finger represents the direction of current, thumb will represent the direction of magnetic field that is the right hand thumb rule in another way. So four finger represents the direction of current that means we have to hold like this, this four finger represents the direction of current and what is the direction of magnetic field, outward is the direction of magnetic field. If current is in clockwise direction then four finger represents the direction of current, inward is the direction of magnetic field. Okay, so right hand thumb rule can be stated in two methods, two ways. If it is a straight conductor, thumb represents the direction of current, four finger represents the direction of magnetic field. And second one is if it is a circular current loop, four finger represents the direction of current, then thumb will show the direction of magnetic field. So this is the rule, curl the palm of your right hand around the circular wire with fingers pointing in the direction of current, four fingers pointing in the direction of current, then the right hand thumb gives the direction of magnetic field, thumb gives the direction of magnetic field. Okay children, before concluding we can just refresh the formula, first biot Severs law, it is db equal to mu0 by 4 pi ideal sin theta by r square, magnetic field on the axis of the circular current loop which is the application of biot Severs law and it is b equal to mu0 ir square divided by 2 into r square plus x square the whole raised to 3 by 2. Magnetic field at the center of the circular current loop is b equal to mu0 i divided by 2r. Direction of magnetic field due to circular current loop is given by right hand thumb rule. Okay children. Mm -hmm.